it, the mother of all colouring pens when it comes to alcohol pen blending. So I'm going to teach you, I'm going to go right back to the beginning. So if you've seen us talk about these pens, but they never really understood why they were so awesome, why you needed them, how you use them. And we just take for granted that everybody knows because we sell millions of these pens every year. Uh, then today is your opportunity when we go right back to the beginning and take a look at it from scratch. OK, so it's really fantastic. If you have a lot of questions, I've got Joe with me so we can run a bit of a live crafting clinic. So if there's anything you want to ask, you can come in and ask me. Joe relay all the questions to me and I can and I can follow you and I can answer all those questions as we go. I've got my pens here. I've got loads and loads of stuff around so we can literally jump around and do anything. I've got a plan in my head of exactly what I want to teach you. I think I'm being optimistic to teach you as much as I'm going to try and teach you in two hours. But, uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll get through it. Don't forget, every Friday to go alongside this show, we do launch a brand new colouring download. So have a little look on the download link. We've got some fantastic, we've done some lovely, uh, some lovely big words to colour this week as well, uh, as well as some extras like, look at this, I love you more than coffee. And that's a lot. So uh, yes, if you want to download the free colouring sheet, details are on the bottom of the screen there. You just need to go to our website and you can download it. And we're doing one of these every week. All of our in-house artists, are still with them. They're at home. Uh, a lot of the crafters that work with us are drawing sheets and providing them for you to download free to colour along with. So make sure you download them and colour along. But I did say, I'm not on my own this morning. Uh, I've got someone here who's going to keep me in check. Isn't that right, Joe? Well, I'm going to have a pretty good go at it, Sarah. I'm not sure uh, that I'm quite capable, but we shall see as uh, the show goes along. Uh, what am I wearing? It's the House of uh, the House of Crafters Companion is what I'm wearing. Forget about Versace and Chanel and all the other ones. This is the look that everyone's rocking uh, this spring summer. Uh, this is our brand new gorgeous apron. Now, we only launched it this week. It's exclusive to our Crafters TV customers uh, in the UK and in Europe. Uh, however, 70% uh, of the stock of it has gone. We uh, don't think we can get this in back in stock uh, for about six months after it's sold out. So if you want it, uh, I know it was so popular it was launched over on HSN in the US. A lot of you have been growing uh, for it. If you've got it already, send us in your pictures. Or if you've been doing some fabulous colouring, we would love to see it as well. Studio at Crafters Companion dot co dot uk uh, is where you can send all of those into um i would love for you to uh comment along and join the conversation uh today i am monitoring the conversation over on the crafters tv facebook page so many of you tuning in already i see shelby's here from uh, carolina crystal's here from pennsylvania lynn one of our regulars uh, from essex as well uh saying uh that looking at social media how nice of your parents to pop a cake round for you yesterday uh which is fantastic um, we've got loads of great deals in the show i'll keep you abreast of uh everything you need to know two different kits for you in the show we've got a smaller uh collection and of course uh, the big daddy collection as well we'll take you through both of those uh, as we go through this hour it is already uh, busy i'm hearing so definitely get ahead to us on the website and shop ahead shall i quickly whiz you through the two collections that we've got for you on the show so what you've got is uh this collection just here now this is your 72 piece marker collection i'll go through all the colors with you a little bit later in the show but what you get is you get your 72 markers you also then get your storage uh, solution too so you can store these and you get an ink pad as well now you're getting 25 pounds worth of goodies within here as well as your pen so you're looking at a price of about a pound per pen in here remember they've got two nibs as well so really looking at about 50 pence per nib which is incredible value for money uh, i'm already hearing five percent of the stock has gone uh, even just since we came live on that smaller collection uh, now i know you want the best value though and the best value comes when you get the super fan collection the big daddy collection the one that gives you absolutely everything because this is a colossal 144 uh, piece collection you're gonna have a pen in here that's gonna allow you to do every single job that you want to something for every project every color tone or uh, technique of coloring that you want to go for uh, you're also getting in here uh, three of the uh, trays as well so you're gonna get three of the storage systems you're also getting as well uh, the rocker blocks 
and three ink pads as well in this collection. Now freebies total 85 pounds with this collection, so you're actually looking at about 80 pence per marker when you go for it in this uh, configuration. And that basically gives you <laughs> all of this uh, coming to uh, your home, which is fantastic. Keep getting your comments in. Uh, I know a lot of you have loved these shows previously. I think there might be a lot of questions coming out of uh, the techniques that Sarah shares with you. So definitely get them into the comments. Any pictures, pictures of you in your apron as well, send them to a studio at Crafters Companion. Uh, .co.uk, we would love to see them. Right, I am poised, Sarah. I am ready to do some learning. Do you want to see something I cut? Oh, I've, I've lost it. What did I do with it? I don't know you what I've done. No, it's over here. Bear with, bear with. And I use He's the classic. He's doing a Sarah. He's just sorry, walking out of sorry, me. Sorry, just walking. Macaroons. Uh, I did some colouring uh, this week. Look at that. I was really happy with that. I used the classics as well. So I just used the chisel end as well. So I just did it really, really quickly, uh, which was fabulous. I loved it. Oh, George, get it. You know, we're giving you a little bit of a hint there with all these words, and you can join us. We're all doing one of our words. If you go and follow us over on social media, we'll do a big reveal later. Joe is staying something. I'm being creative, let's just say. Right, are you ready? I'm going to go right back to the very, very beginning, right? Now, classics. What are these classic markers? So let's have a look. Let's just get one out here, right? So, they are a, an alcohol based pen which have two nibs and a very fine end and the chisel nib which chisel nib which is what joe was just referring to okay so if i show you your fine end is going to give you very fine detail your chisel nib is your big wide detail end right now the great thing about uh, alcohol pens is you can color over like this and get a very very smooth lay down of color right so you go it's not like when you use a felt tip pen you're going to get this lovely smooth lay down of color what i'm going to show you is what people use where have i put my samples over here why do people use alcohol pens now can you see this beautiful image can you see how the hat on the witch looks truly rounded and you've got in the ruffles of her skirt you've got the floor and it looks like the material is actually flowing that is what alcohol pens give you. Same in this one here. Can you see her face looks truly rounded and the light is bouncing off her hair? That is what alcohol pens give you. Whether you're colouring people, whether you're colouring beautiful florals and your florals, you want them to look 3D. Um, I love this sort of colouring like this where you get that real detail on the on the green on the pink it's brilliant when you're colouring very very um bright images like your bright reds or if you want to start mix colours together like what we've done on these dragonflies here i'm going to show you how to do all of that okay now i'm trying to decide joe whether i should start with um should i just start and do a bit of colouring or should i should i, should I really take you back i'm going to really take you back I'm going to force this on you, even if you didn't want to, even if you're thinking, oh, I don't want to go into this, I'm going to show you with a lot of detail, right? So, this is one of the free download sheets, by the way, if you go onto the Crafters Companion, um, you go to the Spectrum Noir website. Now, can you see, if I just go around this, and you just can practice what's called a smooth, smooth colour, right? So, if we go right around here... You, can you see, this is what I'm talking about when you get smooth lay down of colour. So not like felt it pens, where you're going to be using these pens and then you're going to get the little lines that come on them. Uh, the lines will pretty much obliterate each other out and you'll get that lovely, perfect, smooth lay down of colour. Right? So that is how you would use just the pen in its regular, regular format. Now, what we can do... If I just colour the next heart in, because I want you to have a one for comparison as well, right? So if I just go around the outside, remember you've got that fine nib and also the chisel nib. So if I want to just lay down with the fine nib, I can do. And then I'm going to just colour in all of the detail with the chisel nib. Now, the colour I'm using here is, uh, let's have a look, it is MG, and it is MG, Fuchsia MG3, right? Now, in the MG family, we can go lighter. So there's my MG2. We can go darker. We can go a little bit darker with MG4. We can go really, really dark with MG5, right? Let me show you what the darker shades are for. So if we just take our pen here, right? And I go around the outside with MG5. Now, MG5 is a different colour. It's called magenta, actually. Um, but it's a different colour. 
but it is from the same colour family, all right? So it's going to match. So if I put that MG5 down, you're probably looking and thinking, well, what does she mean it's going to match? It looks a bit rubbish, right? We can see all, all the little lines. So if I put that MG5 down, then I step in the next shade. So I'm going to step down to MG4. And what I do is where the end of the MG5 is, I colour over the edge with MG4. Just a little bit, not all of the MG5, just a little bit. I'm wondering if you can get in even closer and have a good look at me doing this. It might be easier for you to see, all right? And I'm using little circular motions. Can you see? I'm just going round and round, little circular motions at the end of the MG5. So now you can't see where MG5 finished and MG4 started, right? And I'm colouring that MG4 into the middle here, all right? So you get that ombre. Then I'm going to bring my MG3 back in, which is called Fuchsia. And where the MG4 finishes, I'm just colouring over the end of the MG4. Uh, so the MG4 finishes and I start with the next shade and it really, it ble there's more alcohol in the lighter colour. So it completely bleaches out that colour, all right? And then you can even step down a bit further. So this time I'm going with the MG3, uh, going down to number two, which is bubblegum. And I'm going over, it, it will bleach out the original colour that I put down there. And I'll get that lovely shading coming round. So now, this was a flat heart. This is a shaded heart. And it looks good there, but if I take you and show you it on the overhead camera, uh, sorry, from the close-up camera, you will see even better how you've got that rounded heart shape. Can you see? So that rounded heart shape is how it all works. Now, I am that is just colouring a flat shape. Let me show you on these practice sheets, we learn how to colour a sphere and how to colour a cylinder. So if we do a cylinder, for example, let's pretend this was like a plant pot and let's go with the earth ground. Let's have a look. I've got two and I've got uh, four and I've got six here. All right. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start, so if we're on the cylinder one, for example, right, I'm going to come down the sides of the cylinder. So I'm not putting, I haven't coloured the all over first here, I'm just literally colouring in the dark one. So I'm coming down and I'm colour, putting in a little bit of that very, very dark shade. So there's the dark, and the same down this side, putting the, the colour down, and then I'm just dra dragging it out a little bit from the side with the darkest shade. So this was a uh, EB Earth Brown 6, all right? Then I'm going to step down. You don't have to go to five. You can step down a couple of steps if you want. I've come down to four now. So I've stepped down from Earth Brown 6 to Earth Brown 4, and I'm using those little circular motions that we talked about to get that lovely all-over shading just on the end of where we had our Earth Brown 6 so that the alcohol in the lighter pen totally bleaches out the alcohol in the dark one. we get that shading. And then I'm going to step down to the next one, which is Earth Brown 2, and I'm going to colour in the middle, and I'm going to, again, go over the edge of that line to just get that lovely, really to, to get rid of the line, basically. You want to totally lose that line so that you get a lovely shading from dark into light. So you can see now how we've got the light shade across the middle, and the more it dries, the more the alcohol will evaporate. And it look, doesn't that look actually cylindrical there, Joe? Doesn't it look totally three-dimensional? That is how, that is the basic principles of how the three pen blend works. Now, what I do want to explain to you uh, is, if you're making a decision today, am I going to go for the £100, or $25 set, or am I going to go for the 200 which is the um, $250 set? Basically, the difference is, for £100 or $125, we are giving you the core 72 pens you need to get started. So what we've done is we've done every colour family. So reds, blues, greens. I can explain all of this, actually. Uh, let me find the reds, for example. That's pink, uh, blue, face. Oh, and that, I'm going to talk you through all of them. Uh, the reds are going to be the last one I'm going to come to, aren't they? All they actually the are the last one, right? <laughs> so have a look at this. So here's the reds, right? So you would get the six pack of reds. And within the reds, if you look, we've given you three in the coral family, which is CR, and three in the dark red family, which is DR. These three would blend together beautifully to give you a sort of corally effect. And do you know what? I've got two different things to show you. Here is a flower coloured with the corals. 
we'll be doing that one later right and then here's the dark reds which is a different color family again so can you see the same poppy colored in two different shades it's not just a lighter version of the same pen this is a different color family now what happened is if you tried to start with the salmon and the dark coral and then add a bit of burgundy wouldn't work because they're in different color families so for all this is the red set you've got a couple of different families let me show you it's the same here if you get the turquoises we've got some gts which are your green turquoises and some bts which are blue tur turquoises completely different shades in the family right every pack of six that we go through you can see we're doing the same we're giving you some of the magentas we're giving you some of the bright pinks in the blues we're giving you some of the true blues and some of the ice blues right when you get to the flesh tones by the way we're just giving you all of the flesh that you need so flesh three right up to flesh nine you can see there's different shades of them within there uh, in the browns we're giving you some of the red browns and some of the golden browns uh, then in the purples you're getting some of the um, purple violets and also the purple lavenders right you get the tans and the earth browns. You are going to be getting in the greens, some of the citrus greens and some of the dark greens. And again, you can see, if I just bring in those two that we looked at, this is a completely different set of greens to what this one is. This set is your dark greens. This set have more of an undertone of yellow, which means that the citruses. You don't need to worry though. All you know is if you pick up all of the ones that start with CG, they're all going to work together. All of the ones that are prefixed with DG, they're all going to work together, right? Uh, in the grey set, we're going to give you some of the brown greys and some of the ice greys. These are undertoned with blue. These are undertoned with red. You don't need to worry about that. Just don't mix the two together, otherwise you'll get a muddy mess. Same if you go into the yellows. There's your lovely golden yellows and your citrus yellows. And then we have, finally, in that um, 72 pen collection, what we call the shade and tone. And I'm going to teach you all about shades and tones as we go through this two-hour masterclass. So if you're just starting on alcohol pen colouring, the set that's on your screen now is the set that you categorically absolutely need to go for. What's going to happen is you're going to get those 72 pens, you're going to get the colouring bug, and then we do extension packs. So whereas, for example, in the, uh, here we go, in the yellow set, you've got uh, the golden yellow, one, three, and four. In an extension set, you might get two, five, and six, right? And, and it's the same with every colour family. Let's choose a different one, right? So in the purples, you've got some shades of purple violet, but then actually we have some completely different purples. We have some lavenders. So we've got LVs, right? And the lavenders are not in this purple six pen set, but they're in one of the extension packs. And those extension packs are what we've included in the, in the double size set, right? It's double the number, but there's the details on the screen for that one. If I show you what's added extra, right? We basically get an extra set of 12 brights, so look, we've got extras, you can see CR7. There's no repeats of what's in this set to what is in all of your six pen sets though. But you get some extra brights, you get some extra dual tones, you get some extra nature tones, some extra pastels, some more florals in there. There's those lavenders I was just telling you about, right? And actually, lavender one and two in there, lavender three is in the vintage set along with some uh, antique pinks for example uh, some extra just some extra shades of everything so what i would say is if if you're sitting there at the moment thinking well do i want to go for the 72 pen set or am i going for the 144 pen set just wait watch all of the demonstrations work out at what level you think you want to be calling whether this is just one of many hobbies you're going to get into and you just want to get the starter set the 72 pens or whether this is absolutely what you're doing and you're in with both feet and you're going for the 144 pens right I'm going to get a stamped image out we're going to get ready and do some stamping and I'm going to show you how you use those techniques that I've taught you which by the way now the alcohol has evaporated you can really see how that heart's totally three-dimensional and how our cylinder does truly look cylindrical that's all right on a heart and a cylinder but I'm going to show you how you use that cylinder in the basis of a face
or how we're going to use that technique as we did that we did on the heart on on a dress of a little girl for example and we can use some of these ideas and put them into principle right i'll get ready for that then joe fantastic loads of you watching along loads of you really engaged uh, julie saying hi i can see shirley's here from uh, quebec in canada uh, wanda is saying hi uh, debbie's here hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of you commenting along some of you up super early as well um Carrie is up in Utah. It's 4 a.m. in Utah, so snaps to you, Carrie, uh, for being up. I can see Leanne is watching along with us, so no pressure, Sarah. Uh, <laughs> Leanne taught me everything I know about this stuff, so uh, yeah, um, a lot of pressure. Uh, Debbie's saying she has this set, absolutely loves them. Uh, Meryl is watching as well. Uh, her daughter Zara is colouring along as usual this morning. A lot of oh, you as well. Talk. Meryl and Zara watch every Friday and colour along. It's a lovely day. Uh, lovely to see their weather. Send us some more pictures, guys. Yes, please. Uh, we do love getting your pictures. Studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk if you want to send us any pictures. I know a lot of you talking in the comments as well about um, the items that you bought last week uh, turning up. As you get them out of the boxes and you experiment and have a play, make sure uh, you send us some pictures of those. And remember, as well you can go back and watch the previous colour me happy so if you ordered all the product today as many of you are uh, you'll be able to find this show on our website so it means that you can always come back to it at LA today and get all of that inspiration uh, that you need there as well uh, Darlene saying hi from uh, uh, from uh, the high peak uh, no Carol from the high peak Darlene from Texas that was a that would be a house swap wouldn't it um, don't forget also about the free colouring download that we have on our website so it's available there for you uh, craftscompanion.co.uk uh, slash colour me happy and that's going to give you all of this imagery a lot of this imagery um, that Sarah is colouring up throughout this show already busy for both of um, the collections that we have for you so uh, there's kind of a try me collection and a whole hog collection both of them very very busy at the moment i'll start with this one here which is the uh, try me collection and this is what you're going to have your color tones in here so you're going to get all of your reds your yellows your greens you've then got your turquoises your browns your blues you've got your purples in here as well you've got your pinks your greys your fair skin your dark skin and your shade and tone we're then going to give you as well somewhere to save them all which is fantastic and we're going to give you uh, an ink pad to get you started as well now the extra bits that you get is the um, ink pad and the storage tray if you take the cost of those off uh, they're 20 pounds if we look at just the actual cost what you're paying for the pen 75 pounds per uh, for the pen so you're looking at about a pound per pen or one dollar thirty per pen if you get it in this configuration I want you to just bear that in mind because if you buy everything now if you buy everything you're getting literally everything that is on this table so all of the colors uh, you're going to get of course the ink pad and the uh, storage you're then going to get three more of the storage trays because you're getting an awful lot of pens you're getting 144 two further ink pads and some rocker blocks as well now the freebies here or the bits extra bits included totals 105 pounds so if we remove that from the cost of uh, the pens themselves it actually works out 65 pence per pen when you buy it in this configuration or 80 cents per pen so i know it's a little bit more but definitely when you're looking at value for money a pound a pen here or 65 pence per pen when you get it in this larger collection and also all of the extras you're getting included are extras that you're going to love and you're going to use all the time on a daily basis when you've got this and it means you've got pretty much everything you need um now annabelle spencely uh, is something else i need to give you a heads up about uh, we launched it just this week here uh, on crafters tv pretty much brand new uh details there are on your screen as well so you've got uh, all of those stamps that you can see and you're getting the rocker blocks as well included uh 29.99 if you are in the uk uh 41.94 if you are in uh, the US. So uh, we'll be seeing these a little bit later in the show today. Beautiful uh, to color up, of course. Um, and also there are some Molly Harrison stamps on the show as well, if you want to go and find those. Don't forget also about my apron. Do you want another twirl? Uh, don't forget about my apron because uh, this is available. It was only going to be available in the US and there was a lot of whinging and moaning and uh, we managed to get some for our Crafters TV uh, viewers. Lots of you have been sending in pictures, but some of you going uh, even better. Going one better, going all out. Should we have a little look at a video that's been uh, sent in by one of our lovely crafters? This is uh, Julie that sent this in. We have all been having a good old titter at this this morning, Julie. Let me assure you. Let's take a look. Shut the front door, shut the back door and pull down the blinds. Good morning, Joe. 
This is your twirl from a crafter's companion girl. I adore my apron, but a mug would be marvellous, methinks. Don't you? Love to you all. Bye. Julie. Okay, you can send us pictures, you can also send us videos as well. Shut the back door, shut the back front door, put the bins out and, and lower and twiddle the blinds. That has definitely uh, given me a good chuckle uh, this morning. Keep getting those into a studio at craftscompanion.co.uk. Uh, um, a lot of you got questions coming in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to gather all the questions in and then we'll do a big Q&A session in about 15 minutes. So any questions that you've got, now is your opportunity. Get them in uh, in the comments and I'll make sure that I'll pop them over to Sarah. Sarah, I can see you're standing by and ready to go. Uh, ra raring to go is the word you're, word you're raring to go. Right, have a little look. These are the brand new Annabelle Spensley stamps that we were just talking about. So can you see how beautiful they are to colour with? I just, they, they're just these little girls who are made for colouring. That's the best way I can describe it. Annabelle's drawn these literally for people who are colouring enthusiasts. So if you want images that are going to be beautiful for you to, to practise all of this colouring with, I've put these on the show because this is the set that's going to be absolutely brilliant, okay? So there are six sets in total. I'll whiz you through what the six of them are. Uh, I'm not really, it's not really a stamping focus show today, but if you have a look at the, on the overhead, I'll quickly whiz you through all six of them right so this one here she's called a uh, well this is all dressed up and ready to go we've also got a uh, oh i love this one love this one this is enjoy the adventure we've also got a lovely lady she's just beautiful uh love you this much is this one here coming we've got birthday cheer and then we've also got born to shop right now i love this one here i think she looks so simple so lovely and cute okay now this is you also get the rocker blocks in that collection as well by the way now i've got a nice rocker block here a nice well loved well used one you'll be getting a brand new one okay all you do loads of stamps on the set here these are all photo polymer stamps as well by the way made here in the uk so you know that the quality you are getting is second to none she goes in the middle there right and i'm just going to i've just got some some paper here i think i'll just stamp her right in the middle uh, and then you can watch me coloring now very important let do this i'm going to get my pointy finger out here okay you must must to get the right results two things you categorically must have the right paper and if you're stamping the right ink very very important now if you're just going if you've got the pens and you're just stocking up on paper and ink we've got them available for you today if you're going for the big collection because i'm so passionate about you needing this stuff i've put the right ink pad in the bundle right we do we do them in loads of different colours. I'm going to use the black one today. So you must have the one that is alcohol proof. Same if you're using our tri-blend pens. They're alcohol pens as well. So you must have the alcohol proof ink. Now, you take the ink, you take the uh, ink to the stamp like this. So you've got plenty of it on. Then I'm stamping onto the Nina Solar White Cardstock, which again is on the bottom of the screen. Now, it's probably easier. I've made a big mess here. So I'm just going to move all of these so that you can see on the close up here, right? But rocker blocks, you basically start on the heel and you rock heel to toe. You don't need a lot of pressure, but by doing that rocking action, you can see you get the absolutely perfect transfer of the image. So when you're looking at her up close, she looks absolutely immense, right? Now, another little top, top tip for you, right? I want you to get the another sheet of paper behind here. I don't need my stamping mat out anymore, so I can move that out of the way. I'm going to put her right in the middle and I'm going to apply some of those techniques we've just learned. So let's start with her face, right? So for her face, I'm going to get some of the flesh tones out. So I've got here flesh three and four. And let's have a look. I can't, I can't even see my other fleshes. Are my other fleshes over here? Uh, flesh three and four. Oh no, there's another four. Uh, oh, do you know what I was having a big, there's number three. I was having a big sort out before we start the jaw. Oh, we can do, should we do a bit? Yeah, we'll do it with three and four. There's a good starting point. Where have I put my other flesh tones? Oh, they're up on the top here. 
I've put them somewhere special. There we go. Look, we've got six, seven, eight, nine, all sorts of them now, right? All of these flesh tones will work together beautifully well, right? So let's have a look. I'm going to start. Uh, I'm going to start going. Uh, going to I'm going to use eight, and then I'm going to blend eight into uh, probably into six. Yep. And actually, should we use uh, eight, seven, and six? Yeah, eight, seven, and six. So you don't have to go. One, two, and three. Which ones are in the set? Let me have a look. If you're just going for uh, the 72 piece collection, I want to make sure I show you. Here we go. We get three, four, six, seven, eight, and nine. And you can see that the lighter ones are actually a little bit more pinky. So then the, the, the when you get into the like the six, seven, and eight, you get into the more creamy ones. So here we go. Six, seven, and eight. Got them all from the 72 piece set. That lovely fine nib. I'm going to where we would have a little bit of shadow, so underneath her um underneath her hairline is where we would have shadow, right? Then I'm going to come in around the side of her face like this, right? And then a little bit down on her neck. And let's while we're on, might as well do her arms and her legs at the same time. So we've put the darkest one in. Then we're going to step down from eight to seven. And we're just going to do that little circular motion where the end of the eight was. So little blended shades. And you can see there now, you can't actually see where the last one finished and the next one starts. Right? That's, that's what you want all the time. Then we're going to step it down to six. Just going to finish in the sixth one. And then I'm going to add a little bit more shade on the bottom of her legs. Now, if you want to go and add a little bit more depth, you can always do it after we've done the shade. So if we want to go a little bit darker and we want to give her a little bit more, you know, around the hairline, all you do is add a darker shade back in again, right? So where we started, a bit more depth, and then you just step them down again. So we're doing exactly the same as what we have just done, but going over. You can't overdo it. Don't worry about Oh, well, I don't want to keep going over and over because I'll damage the paper. As long as you're using the right paper, that is not going to happen. Look at that. I think I'll do the same. I'll bring in a little bit, bring in a little bit from her cheek. Uh, I'm using the redder tones here from her cheek. So I've got a little bit of shading. Stepping it down, Joe, I could sit and literally colour all day. I, I just love this idea of getting her face to look truly, truly rounded. I just can't, you just kind of get lost in the moment a little bit. Uh, loads of questions coming in. Oh, uh, right, so, yep. Uh, um, uh, how are the, because uh, obviously these are second generation tech classics, how do they differ compared to the uh, previous classics that we had? Right, this is a brilliant question. And actually what I'll do is I'm going to explain this. Now, we started making pens eight years ago, a long, long time ago, right? When we were not experts in the field of pen making. We set out to revolutionize the pen world. So alcohol pens were street value, four to five pound a pen. Now for a lot of people in craft, that was just non-accessible. And so what people would do is, if you were, get, if you were a crafter getting into this and you had a budget, you'd buy one blue, one green, one orange, one yellow because they were so expensive. And then all you can do is flat colouring. You can't do any of this blending. So what we decided to come and do was, could we make a pen that was like two pound a pen and that could do everything that those pens could do? And that's what we set out to do. And we did a brilliant job of it. Over the years, we literally sell millions of these pens every year. Now we've become so specialist that we now formulate all of our own inks to a proprietary technology. All of our nibs are made in a specialist factory in Japan and imported into where the ink formulate. This is how clever it is. The inks are formulated here in the UK and then they are made and sent into our factory. We have the nibs manufactured over here in Japan and sent into our factory. We've further developed the shape and holding of the pen so it's more ergonomic to hold. And and even things as far as like the transorb in the pen, we've modified and enhanced the transorb in terms of the formulation of the ink, not only the colour formulation, but how it blends together, everything, the, the double locking on the caps. So what we've done is over the years, we've learned, we've become specialists in the pen area. And so we were able to look at ways to further enhance the pen. Plus, we're making so many millions of these now, we reach what's called economies of scale, where we can afford to do them 
and we make a bit of a cost saving. So what we did was last year, we relaunched our best selling, most popular pen worldwide, put in all of these enhancements, the better nibs, the better ink formulation, the ergonomic shape, we refined all the color groupings. We just went next level with making them and we made them a full on artist grade pen because we now play in that space. We now make coloring utensils for people at that level, but we still kept it at the affordable level for a crafter. So if those of you who've had our Spectrum Noir Classics over the years and love them, I can tell you now, you will love these even more because these are everything you loved about them brought bang up to date with even more mechanical and engineering enhancements. So what I would say is do what I've done with mine, right? I gave my set of classics to my six year old and obviously I've got the new set of all the new classics. So they, they all play nicer together. They are the same pen in principle. This is just further enhanced and refined yet we have managed to keep it at that affordable price point. So hopefully that explains that one. While I've been talking, the alcohol has evaporated a little bit. How fabulous does she look, right? Now I'm going to use exactly the same principle. Should we colour a skirt in? Do you know what colour I love colouring with? I love the BTs. So let's colour these with the BT. I've got three and four. Oh, let's go right up to, let's bring a bit of seven in. And actually I've got a BT. You don't have to use three. You can go and use more if you want. I'm going to use nine. So I'm going to use that for my extra depth later on. And I'm going to bring this in, doing exactly the same technique, Joe. So I'll just colour. And Spoke if you you've got, if you've got more questions coming I've in. I've got loads of them. All right. All right. <laughs> Brilliant. I've got loads of them. Uh, so, um, Jean uh, Marie Penny uh, says she has the uh, some of the old sets, yep. um, but the old set, um, the older generation has a different numbering. Is there any sort of hard no. and fast rule that she can use to work out which sort of shade she already has? Does yep, that make so sense? We have not changed any of the numbering. Oh, really? Cool. So we wanted to keep it so that people who did have some of the old, some of the new, and wanted to, you know, kind of enhance between the two you can absolutely look at the colors of the, the color numbers and names have not changed they've, they've all got names now not yeah. all of them used to have names before but uh, the numbering system has not changed at all wonderful so go and have a little dive into your stash grab them all out uh, make note of the numbers and then get yourself over uh, to the Craft Companion website. There's a whole spectrum of white area there as well. And you'll be able to go through and see which ones you do and don't have. Uh, I'm not sure why you'd want them to be, but Bev asks, are the nibs interchangeable? Uh, well, so they're not... Uh, well, interchangeable, I think, is not the word she means. I think she means replaceable. Okay. Yep, so yes, absolutely, all these nibs are replaceable. So if you want to... if, For example, if you somehow damage this, and I know you're thinking, how would I damage it? Uh, I've got a three-year-old at home. We replace a lot of nibs, <laughs> right? We replace a lot of nibs because he does this, right? Breaks my heart. But <laughs> all you do is the nibs actually just pull out. Did you see that? So the nibs just pull out of the end, both sides, and fully replace. So we do do replacement packs of nibs. Obviously, then you lose all of the ink that was in this nib, which... It's, it's sacrilege as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and that's what I've told our Charlie on several occasions. But uh, <laughs> yes, you can replace all of those, uh, all of the nibs. And also the chisel end, which I'll show you on the next shading, right? The chisel end lifts out and allows you access to the chamber. Right. So that if you want to then refill, we do ink refill colours for every one of our colours. So if there's wow. a pen that you use a lot, like your blender, for example, uh, you can take the chisel out, refill the ink container, and uh, you can then you can then revive your pens because basically you are investing. Oh, oh Craigie, I've gone. Is this BT three? Yeah, 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 yeah. And oh, BT four. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Just want to make sure I'm stepping down as we go on. Just <laughs> make sure I'm following my own. Uh, yes, make sure I'm following my own rules here. And uh, there we go. So I'll just keep colouring, Joe. Yeah, absolutely. I've got loads more questions for you. We'll get to all of them. Uh, do keep getting them in. Uh, we love it when you guys uh, get your questions in. And also comment along. And also, you know, let us know what you're up to. I'd love to know how you're getting on with some of the previous uh, collections that we've brought to you on Colour Me Happy. Uh, whether you do that in the comments or you send us some uh, pictures, uh, you can do that at studio at craftscompanion.co.uk. We just love seeing uh, what you guys have been up to and what you have been working on. Now, I want to talk you through uh, the 72 pen uh, collection. Uh, do you want me to break it down into the colours as well? Do you want to see exactly uh, what you're getting? So, the best value comes by buying absolutely everything, but I'm going to take you through uh, the first collection uh, first, which is the 72-piece collection. Now, when you remove the cost of the um, 
extra bits you're getting it's about a pound a pen when you get it in this configuration now i've got so many great pens out today i've got no room to do anything else honestly uh, so in here you're going to get the reds and you're going to get the yellow so you can see you've got all of your reds and yellows there you're also going to get uh, the greens and the turquoises in here too. Uh, and you remember, all grouped together in those families. You're going to get uh, the pinks and the browns, which are all of these lovely pens here. Uh, you're also getting uh, the blues and the purples, as you can see uh, just here. You're then getting uh, the fair skin and the dark shades, which are all of these ones. And also, uh, you're going to get the greys and the uh, shades and tones. So they're the 72 pens that are coming to you in that collection. Now, along with the pens, you're going to get one of the storage and you're going to get uh, one of our uh, fantastic ink pads in there too. So as we were saying earlier, uh, you've got a great saving here as well. You're saving um, 44.86. Uh, in the UK on it for getting this configuration. However, I know how many of you want, what's the stock update on this solid? I said 5% of the stock had gone, didn't I? Uh, over 10% of the stock of this one has now sold out and gone. Now, I know a lot of you are going for absolutely everything. That's what you want. It is a colossal collection. And what it does is it basically gives you all of the color families and it gives you all of the expansion packs that we talked about as well, that Sarah talked us through, all of the extra shades and tones, which are gonna allow you to get even more fabulous techniques. So you're gonna get firstly, the brights and the pastels, they're coming included. So you're getting six colors in each of these. You're then gonna get uh, the floral and the nature in here too. And you get the jewel and the vintage as well. We then give you three extra of the uh, storage. You're going to get another two ink pads as well. So you're gonna get four storage and three ink pads in total in here in this collection. And it is this huge bumper uh, deal. Let me just show you the value as well, because we talked about with the uh, 72 piece collection, about a pound a pen is what you're looking at. The extras you're getting in this collection, so the storage and the ink pads, and you're getting the rocker blocks too, comes to about 105 pounds. So if we take that off the cost of the pens, it then works out to 65 pence per pen when you buy it in this configuration. So we go from a pound a pen to 65 pence a pen. At a pound a pen, they're amazing because out there, if you go into the high street, you're paying upwards of three pounds a pen to get this kind of quality. But if you want the best value, then definitely go for the whole collection. I'm hearing just how busy it is on uh, the whole collection. 15% um, of the big collection sold out and gone already. And I know with a show like this, I know it is a considered purchase. A lot of you will watch entire hour and then make your mind up at the end of the show however it is very busy in fact almost 20 percent now of the stock of that larger collection has sold out and gone your saving there is amazing you're saving 145 pounds in the uk you're saving 243 dollars in the US, so it is incredible value for money. Uh, now, very, very busy, if you want to order, remember if you want to watch and shop at the same time, best place to do that, over on our website, crafterscompanion.co.uk, if you're here in the UK, uh, .com if you're in the US, or .eu if you are anywhere else in Europe. And there, of course, you're gonna be able to watch and shop at the same time. Now, should we have some photos, Sarah? Oh, that would be lovely. Yeah, let's take a look at some photos. Wow, Josh is having a good old rummage uh, today. Check this out. <laughs> wow, someone's having a big sort out. Yeah. Absolutely love it, Josh. That is amazing. Uh, this is from Barb, this next one here. Look at the tones or the, um, look at the light that in that. <gasps> that is fantastic. Oh my, who was this? Barb. Barb. Barb, I want a colour like you. Barb, that's amazing. And that was with the Classiques. That Barb, was indeed. That is absolutely off the chart amazing. I am, I am, oh look, you're getting the hair, you're getting the hair. Uh, I am super, super impressed with that Barb. Uh, I'm gonna do hair tones now actually. Do you want me to do that? Should we, should we have a little look at that? What colour do you fancy doing a hair, Joe? Do you think I should do her? Does about she want... pink? Because that's what her colour. Laura, our producer, is considered dyeing her hair pink. So oh, oh, I'm no. not sure about that. Oh no, me neither. I was How thinking about like, blonde? do you want to be blonde or brown? Blonde, I think. <laughs> Right. Blonde. Right. Maybe she could have uh, the. Maybe she could have the. Uh, you know, uh, the sort of a uh, COVID haircut look going on the with the extended, with the extended uh, roots <laughs> yeah. going on. Oh, should we do that? 
that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add some root in. Right, let's use the golden yellows, okay? So I'm going to go with the golden yellow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, round it. So we're going to preserve the highlight uh, in the middle part. So around here, can you see, I'm just going to bring it in. I'm going to keep it wispy like hair would be. So instead of doing the little circle, circular motions, I'm doing the wispy, wispiness, right? And then the same here. Now, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to have some of the deeper shades and then I'm going to bring in the, um, I'm going to bring the, I'm going to bring the wispiness back in at the end. Yeah, I think that's going to be easier. So I'm going to start with the dark, I'm going to put a little bit of dark coming on this end. So I'm just following exactly the same principles that we have done. So put the dark one in, that's four. Step it down to three, step it down to two, step it down to one, all right? Oh, I love it. Joe, I could literally sit and colour all day. Uh, it is so therapeutic, isn't it? A lot of you talk about, you know, having a bit of me time, a bit of time out um, and uh, enjoying it, which is what we do. Um, now, Brina, uh, uh, Brianna, sorry, is asking me. She has the originals, um, Sarah, and she's thinking about getting one or two more extra packs to go with it. Is there any that she needs to get, would you say, in conjunction with her old ones, or does it just depend what colours she already has? Right, so I would say if you are adding to your set of originals... Go and get some of the um, go and get some of the twelve the twelve sets that we do. Okay. So I wouldn't bother with any more of the twenty fours. I would literally just go and get some of the extra twelves in there. Yep, that should. Okay, do the that covers it. I mean, this next one's a bit of a, how long is a piece of string? But Mary's asking how long does the ink last? Uh, it, <laughs> it totally depends on usage with these. Honestly, it depends. It depends on how often you're using them, how much you're using them. Uh, honestly, I mean, I, I think the likelihood of any of you needing to refill your pens is pretty, pretty slim. If I'm being okay. totally honest, uh, it's nice to know that you can do it, but the likelihood of you actually doing it uh, is, is, is slim, slim to none, I would say. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Carol's asking about the best way to store them. Uh, definitely in that storage, which is why we've given you all of that storage included. Yeah. Wonderful. So store them horizontally in that storage that's included. Now Robin is trying to identify the pens that she has. She has a. She almost said we should do one of those. So you know when you have the line up when everyone holds the photo. That's what she needs, I think. She's saying she's got some uh, hexagonal pens in her collection, Sarah, but she's also got some round ones with a rubber uh, sort of a rubber grip on them. Do you know what they are? Can you identify them? Uh, I would know better if I saw them. Maybe you need to send us a picture, Robin. But I would get. I would guess round round ones the only round ones we've done are colorista which didn't have a rubber grip on them we did some we did some hexagonally shaped ones with a rubber grip on um so maybe it's maybe it's those ones uh, yes and so they will be our they will be our spectrum noir classics wonderful okay yeah. so they, they, these are the same same pen family they're going to pair lovely together all right perfect um lynn's also asking is there a shelf life once they've been opened if they've not been used for a long time or is it as long as you store them properly are they okay if you're storing them properly these these new ones one of the things we've enhanced and improved on them is the uh, the double click lib nibs right which means that those of you who are you know if you don't use them very often and you just you just bring them in uh, bring them in every now and again for example uh, this they're going to last you a lot longer because of the extra click on the nibs when we do them so hopefully that helps well it's one of the things we found uh, with our other pens the shelf life on them wasn't as long as we wanted so that is one thing that we have really worked hard to improve on with the um, with the new look classic pens Fantastic. I uh, keep getting your questions in uh, to me. Um, if you, um, a lot of you are still commenting along, please do. Yep. Uh, Marianne's asking, when a rocker block and when a platform? Oh, great question, right? I use a rocker block, Marianne, whenever I've got the, um, whenever I can do the easy, the easy rock, rock bit one, okay? The easy rock bit one. When you when you want to do the air, uh, when you want that nice easy rocking technique that you've seen me do, the stamping platform is more when you want to be able to see through. 
Okay, so it's just about really um, finding, yeah, fi finding, finding what's right for you. Now, I've finished her all off there, Jo, except her eyes. What I'm going to do is, I always like to do this in the eyes. I like to just give them a little bit. So if she's got uh, green eyes, for example, I like to just put her a little bit of green there in her eyes and her shoes. I think I'm going to go hot pink with the shoes as well. So all I'm doing there is popping the, uh, popping the little shoes on. And then I want to show you a nice little tip so she looks fantastic i'm absolutely thrilled with her right i've got pens all over i need to get my pens reorganized however i want to show you let's have a look if i go for my ice gray i've got in here one um and the blender pen yes that's probably going to do it right i like to give her a little bit of a shadow now i'm going to do that with my blender pen which comes in your essential set and the ice gray one which comes in your essential set okay so all you're going to do is all around the outside is go around with this lighter shade and it just gives it a bit of a halo right so you go right around like this with the halo and it gives you that lovely um gives you a lovely outline it's also brilliant if you've gone out of the lines a little bit right like i've done there it just covers all of the area where you've gone out of the lines so it gives her it makes her stand out a little bit and then also also just finishes that off perfectly so i'm going to go all the way around the outside with the uh, with the ice the ice uh, is it the ice cream yes the ice cream i said but then also if you want to bleach and I've, i was always obsessed with this i used to like to put a real big like a, a real big thick thick edge round so I'll show you the difference here we go so she's all the way around there with just a halo looks quite nice you want to give her a bit bit of a thicker edge right go all the way around with this and then with your blender pen oh I'm going to want to make sure that's a nice clean blender yep you're going to just blend out around the edge with your blender pen and it just gives it a, a much more like um washed out effect so I can show you this a little bit later with one of the uh, one of the other shades that we colour, but you can see there that lovely, lovely uh, blended blended out effect as it was, Joe. So that Beautiful. is my gorgeous Annabelle Spensley. Uh, really, really lovely. Uh, the Annabelle Spensley stamps are very, very popular. I just want to give you uh, a reminder of them. So you can see here, you get six different uh, collections included. So you've got Born to Shop. I think that might be me. Uh, enjoy the adventure. You're also going to get all dressed up. Maybe we should just get all dressed up, you know, just one evening whilst we're staying in, because I'm missing, I'm missing getting all dressed up to go out. Uh, you've also got um, Love You This Much. Uh, you've got a uh, lovely lady and you've got uh, birthday cheers as well. So you're gonna get all of those, which is fantastic. Probably I've got some boards here to take you through as well, just to give you a bit of a better idea about what you kind of be able to stamp up. Because it's actually really comprehensive stamp set. So you've got that lovely focal image in there, and then you've got all of your different embellishments. You've got uh, some sentiments in there as well. Uh, and again, you can see here all the different things that you can do with them. Very busy, we only launched them this week here on Crafters TV, uh, and already uh, a lot of that stock has gone i think over a quarter of the stock off the top of my head has gone just in the show alone 29.99 uh 41.94 if you're in the uk loads of you you get some rocker blocks included with those as well loads of you are uh, commenting along on facebook which we absolutely love i'll get to all of your comments uh, and keep getting all of your questions in however if you want to watch and shop at the same time it's easy to do so with us here at crafters tv Hi, I'm Joe from Crafters TV and I'm here to show you how you can grab the best deals and shop whilst you watch during our shows. So the best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. Head on over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV. You can see all of our shows, offers and even shop while you watch. Now if you want to get involved and comment along, head over to our Facebook page. Come say hello, ask us some questions and lol with us or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay directly onto your big screen. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule, so don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. 
uh, all the details there of how, of course, uh, you can watch and shop at the same time. And watch and shop you are today. We're having a very busy uh, Colour Me Happy show. Uh, now, I want to just quickly give you a bit of a reminder uh, of, I'm not going to go for the small one, because so many of you are going for the, the big one, the Colossal Collection, the Super Fan Collection, which gives you, I mean, you can't even fit it into the shop. Uh, you are getting that much within this collection. It really is quite spectacular because it's 144 of our pens that you're getting in here. Think about that, that's 288 markers really because you've got two uh, ends within each one of them as well. So it is a uh, fantastic value for money. Now as well as getting all of the markers included, you're going to get uh, four of the storage containers, which is what you're going to need to be able to store all of these. And of course, storing them on their side uh, as is the right way to do so, I means it's going to um, um, give you much more longevity to these and give you a really nice long life on your pens. We're also going to give you uh, the rocker blocks, so you're going to be able to stamp up your images nicely, and you're going to get three of the ink pads included as well. Now the extra bits that we're giving you, those bonus bits, comes to £105 in this collection or $134. Now if you take that off the cost of uh, this big collection, which is £199 in the UK, $250 in the US, it actually uh, works out and equates to 65 pence per pen in the UK or 80 cents per pen if you're in the US. Now bearing in mind, markers of this quality out there on the high street could be costing you upwards of three pounds or four dollars. So you know you're getting a uh, fantastic value for money when you get it in this big collection. Now, uh, over a quarter of the big collection has already sold out and gone. And that is a lot for this point of the show. Seeing as we're halfway through the show, I think a lot of you are coming at the end of this show and tens of thousands more of you watch these shows back after they've aired. So it's a very, very busy show. Um, don't forget as well about the free download that you've got on our website. So details on the bottom of your screen there, craftscompanion.co.uk. So, uh, slash colour me happy. You're going to be able to get all of this imagery uh, that you're seeing. And now some of the people that have been colouring uh, bits in for us, I recognise this face, don't you, Sarah? Oh, he's our Debbie. She looks well. See what I said there? See what I did there? And actually, Jan looks like she is staying at home. <laughs> so he's our Jan. So yeah, we're giving you a little bit of a sneak peek, everyone. What we're doing is we're um, we're all colouring one of these and we're going to do you one of those gorgeous montage pictures that we're going to be bringing you uh, next week. So keep your eyes peeled on our social media sites next week. Joe is staying right here with me in the studio. <laughs> I am indeed. <laughs> There's some lovely cute images though. Right, now while I'm going to be getting creative, haven't coloured mine yet. On the job, on the job list for tonight with the kids. The kids are probably the kids are probably sitting and colouring theirs at home now. I left them one each uh, if they wanted to have a go at colouring in. Right now, I wanted to show you a great technique. Look how fantastic this image looks. Right, this is a black and white photo, but it's got the coloration of one of the images. Now, this is what people pay a fortune for you to do on the likes of you know Adobe Photoshop, for example. We've actually done it with the pens. This is how the image started off. Now, because these pens are permanent, it means that you can do all of these, um, all of this type of effect, even though it looks like it's been shaded over a photo. So let me just show you. I'm going to use here. This is my. Uh, this is L Y three. So you can try your different shades. Uh, I'm going to try. This is my G Y. So this one here, nice bright one, is a uh, G Y. So that is GY1. Uh, let me show you what else have we got this night. About the CT, different shade of yellow all together. So this one here, oh, I think that's going to be lovely. That one there is CT4. So you can see they're all yellow, but they're all completely different shades of yellow. So if we just stick with this one, watch what happens when we just colour over. You still get all of the shading from the photograph below. So this is this really works an absolute treat for um well I've I've got I've got loads of different loads of different ways where you're just picking out an element though. So these are actually full on print on photo paper. I've got one of those uh, little printers at home. You know the um, they're called the Canon selfies. So it's where you can take your own photographs and print them out. Uh, we print tons of photographs in our house and one of these ones I hate the thought that we take all these photos and they just sit on our phones. So I got my, I got myself one of these little photos and we're forever printing out pictures for the grandparents. And what we're doing at the moment is, we're, uh, I'm making my, our Oliver, my six year old, 
write a corona diary every day he goes mad he absolutely hates it but it's for him to practice his creative writing so i make him sit and write every day what we did the day before and then we print out a couple of pictures to go with it and i think do you know what he'll be really grateful for this when he's older and we and he learns about this time in history he'll be able to go back in his corona diary and see what he was doing and what he was thinking about everything we even wrote in the day boris johnson got coronavirus he liked to write that in there and he was fascinated with all of that so um so yeah so it's quite nice quite nice to be able to print your own photos but this way there's always a setting on here you can print them in black and white and then just add all of your own color tinting onto here really easily uh, loads of people still questioning, uh, sending in questions, commenting along. Linda wants to know, do you think at some point in the future we might do an illustrator uh, colour me happy? Oh, you're one step ahead of me, Linda. I've already got that planned for you. Fantastic. Trust me, I've got, I've got everything planned for you. Yeah, we've got a rem. We, we, we've got that many different colouring utensils that I thought uh, we can plan completely different shows. Now, I didn't know whether to do Illustrator next week or whether we should go back to... We've done some alcohol pen, alcohol pen colouring today. I thought maybe we could go back to some uh, pencil colouring next week Ooh, and try something thinking? different. So, yeah, what, what do you guys want to see? Let me know. Yeah. I'm trying. I, I can't decide. Too um, many decisions, Joe. Too many decisions. Too many well, shows. You know, we've got so many different uh, colouring mediums on our website, and you can go over to the Spectrum Eye of our website and have a look at absolutely everything uh, that you've got there. I'd like us to do tri blends again. I know we've done them already, but they are. I, I really like them, uh, and I know a lot of people uh, have asked about tri blends again and said they'd love to see another. Uh, try blend colour me happy. Maybe we'll have to wait a little while till we've completed all the other uh, different styles of uh, yeah. pens. But um, I don't mind doing that because then I know people have got them home and they'll be able to sit and colour along with us at the same time. Mm. We'll just release some new colouring sheets, Sounds do some fab. new techniques with them, but you can use your, your try blends that you've got at home. No problem. I will uh, I will look to get that planned in, um, in the next few weeks. We're on it. Jan, you know, uh, Jan in Italy, Ravello, our regular Jan. She says, can you still download, download the colour charts uh, from the website to fill in? Yes. I'm, I don't, I'm not aware of these, Sarah, and yep. what they are. Pop yourself over to the Spectrum Noir website, and we've got all sorts of resources in there for you to do all of your, um, all of your colouring. So you can print out. So what a lot of people like to do, Joe is actually print out blank colouring sheets like this and colour the little boxes themselves. Right. It's much more accurate than using a, a, a computer printed one because we think every printer prints it in different shades. So we do we do a coloured one. So let's have a look. I've got the two different options here. Yeah. So here's the one that we've printed out, for example, and you, you've printed it. Here's a one where we've printed it out blank and coloured the squares in. So you've got all the different options, much more accurate. And I like to sit with this in front of me when I'm choosing a shade. So, you know, I was choosing the yellow there. I could just look along now and see, right, so I can see the, the golden yellows are very different to the citrus yellows. Or oh, for that lovely uh, sunflower we were colouring, I think I'm going to go with the citrus yellows. And you can do that without having to pick them up and practice with them. All right. So it just shows you a little bit of a difference. So a couple of different techniques. Now, I'll just point out the way that I've done that with the photograph. That is because these are permanent markers and because they're permanent markers you can actually color onto all different surfaces so can you see here we've colored some wooden embellishments we've colored some gems some pearls some of the stamens from our uh, flower forming form we've got onto vellum onto acetate onto craft metal here uh, this is where craft metal is being cut out and then color tinted white ribbon you can color tint it to your own colored ribbon uh, same if you're doing bits of things like your buttons or your lace this is glitter cardstock and we've actually color tinted our glitter cardstock so anything you've got just if you've got the full set of pens just buy everything in clear right everything in clear and then you can color tint it to whatever color you want so that's just a little bit of a brucey bonus as it was what you can do with that now should i get ready i've shown you my extra couple of little bits should i get ready for a couple more show you a little bit more in that uh, coloring demonstration absolutely right? a lot of you talking about pencils now people are getting all excited about pencils now sarah oh, uh, so there, you really I? have pam says pencils would be lovely uh, Carol uh, Bachelor saying uh, pencil colouring uh, would be great. Uh, should I saying yes? I downloaded uh, the blanks, so that'd be the colouring chart. Sarah, you always spoil us, says uh, Samantha, doesn't she? Just uh, and Bev also saying she would love to see. The
the illustrators on at some uh, point. Um, and she'd like a bit of a comparison maybe between the illustrators and the classics at some point as well. I know they are very different, Sarah. Well, do you know what? I've got an illustrator here, so I can just show you if you want. Okay, I can, cool. I can, go, I can go right in there and just show you straight away. Let's get that scrap piece of card I had out here, right? So, here is my uh, GB2. Uh, and uh, oh, do you know what? It doesn't. He, he, he's, he's in him. It's it's exactly the same, right? So what we've done is because the illustrator was a much more ergonomic, easier to hold pen, we've made the classic barrel the same uh, barrel as the illustrator, so that it's easier to hold. So in your classic, you can see you get the fine nib and you get the chisel. In your illustrator, you get the ultra fine and the brush. So it's exactly, I'll put them on a nice clear sheet, right? It's exactly the same ink, the same formulation. You've just got different brush, uh, different nibs in there. And if I'm being really honest, this is the expensive part, that nib. That nib costs more than all of the rest of the pen, right? They're very, very specially made and they have taken us years to develop to this quality. So you get the ultra fine. So you can see this is how fine the ultra fine is. Whereas this is your colouring with your regular nib. You can see the difference there. So your classiques are kind of like your two most popular nibs. Your, um, your regular nib and your chisel. We added the brush nib onto the illustrator. And then instead of repeating one of the nibs, we put you the ultra fine on. So what a lot of people do is they have the full set of classiques. And then in the colours they use the most of, or they want to use with the technique where you use the, uh, you would use the brush nib. So things like uh, flicking for hair, for skin tones, for um, animal skin, things like this. They have them colours in the illustrator, but they are exactly the same ink as what you have in the classiques. So the idea, like I said, if you're going to go for the whole, the whole shebang, the 144 pens in the classiques. Oh. I'm not sure you understand either much. Um, <laughs> so if you want to go for the full set of the classics, the hundred, well, it's not the full set, we do 216 colours in total, but that 144 pens is going to give you the full base. Then you can pepper in with a few colours of the illustrators. I'll make sure when I plan the illustrator show that instead of doing big bundles like this, we'll put you, so he is the... Um, extras extension if you want to if you want to add on to your classics and add on the skin tones extra on the illustrator or you want to get add them on you want to do the landscape set extra so that you're not you don't have to buy i mean some of you will have some of you will have 216 of the classics 216 illustrators but for a lot of us it's either the 72 or the 144 of the classics and then adding in those select colors of the illustrators is how we always recommend it to people at this level if you're an advanced artist go and get all the illustrators because you're going to use them right <laughs> uh june saying oh that always happens to me on my watch blooming siri <laughs> 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 um uh, a lot of you are talking about uh, another question coming in uh, what printer ink doesn't smear uh when you're coloring um i can answer that one for you i think the the big sort of fancy printers uh, the laser jet ones you might get a bit of smudging uh, but uh, I think I'm right in saying on a side that it's sort of the inkjet ones, the most, ones most of us have at home, that's fine for us to colour with. Brilliant for alcohol pen colouring. That's not so good when it comes to water colouring. Right. But if you're doing alcohol pen, alcohol pen colouring, get your mouth around that, like this, absolutely no problem. Absolutely Wonderful. no problem at all. Right. Uh, suggestions for next week. Uh, Kerry saying colour blend pencils, but using the solution. What's oh, the solution? Oh, the blending solution. It's the cheat solution. It's fabulous. Right. So the big request is colour blend pencils with blending solution next week. Yeah. Right. I will take that, see if I can get you that sorted for next week. And then we'll look and see if we can do the illustrators maybe the week after. Okay, perfect. Awesome idea. It seems Sounds like idea to please. It's all, it's all coming together, it seems. Oh, absolutely. Let's have a look. Do you want me to colour the poppies? In the, so I'm going to do the poppies, but we've got the reddy shades, or we've got the corally shades of the Ooh, poppy. Oh, I like the corally one. one. Like? Producer Laura Ooh, likes the red like one, the, so it's Oh, a tie. let's have a look. I can't decide. Do you know, I'm, I'm into a bit of coral at the moment. Uh, I'm doing a lot of colouring with my corals, so I think oh, I'm going to colour with the corals, right? So they you just see what we're going to look like. So, corals. We've got loads of corals. Uh, I think I've got, I've got coral one. Uh, let's have a bit of a jump up to four. Bit of a jump up to seven, and I might go really deep with a bit of uh, 10 and 11, right? Because you can use as many in the family as you want. 
So I'm going to go there and I'm going to start with the deepest one. I'm going to do exactly what you said before, Joe. I'll colour it, I'll click and you can go up there where you're going to be, you're going to be up here. I'll, cli <laughs> I'll click and you can sit up there and uh, I'm just going to do exactly the same as what you've seen me doing all day, colouring the deeper shade and then blending it into the next one. Uh, loads of you saying corals as well. Kerry saying uh, corals, uh, Christine corals, uh, G, 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 oh, I can't say this name, sorry. I was going to say Leanne, and then I realised it was a J and not an L. Gian, Jeannie, I'm not sure. What is it? How do I pronounce it? Do let me know. I'm really sorry. Sometimes I do butcher, not just place names, but also your names as well. So apologies if I do that. Oh, Pam is saying, loving the top, Sarah. A great colour on you. Oh, so you're almost thank sort you. of, you're almost a bit fluorescent. I love it. Yes, I've never had anything this fluorescent. Do you know, I was down at Creating Craft a couple of weeks ago and the presenter, Lo and Love, good friend of mine, uh, was wearing this top and I was like, oh, that's nice. She said, oh yeah, I just got it. It was on the sale on phase eight. So she sent me the link and within 10 minutes I had it ordered. So uh, yes, so that's I, I was taking advantage. No, no messing about there, Joe. She is the queen of the shopping, isn't she? Sure Do you know she I, is. when I, me and Lowen, obviously I used to work at Creighton Craft, so I used to go to Lowen on about the fourth of December, and I'd right. sit down and I'd reel off all of my friends and family, and she would give me all the present ideas that I needed in about twenty-five minutes, and then she'd send me all the links. Uh, to buy it all, <laughs> and me and Lowen could get my shopping, Christmas shopping done in about half an hour. Best thing ever. Uh, <laughs> a lot of love for uh, that. A lot of people saying as well, uh, loads of questions. I love it when you guys are so engaged, because obviously I can tell how excited you all are by these pens, because the amount of questions uh, that's coming from you all. Can you use um, the pencils in conjunction with these alcohol markers like we've seen previously, Sarah? Oh, yes. That, do you know what? That is one of my absolute favourite techniques to do. What I'll do is let's plan to have those pencils on next week. Okay. And let's plan to do pencils as an extension onto the pens. Okay, fantastic. So get your pens this week and then you'll be able to watch next week and learn those pencil techniques using uh, adding them on to what we've got here. Fabulous. Uh, Elizabeth's saying, where is that um, flower from that you're colouring, Sarah? Oh, do you know what? This one has been in our collection for ages. This is one of the ones that we always put on as the resources for um, like online colouring tutorials. So I'm pretty sure this will be available to download in some of our colouring resources. If it isn't, I will try and get this added to next week's colouring sheets. Okay, there we go. Sounds fabulous. We love that. Someone is asking uh, to explain what is the difference between uh, classic and tri blend. Right. So no, they are exactly the same type of pen. Right. So they all work. They're all alcohol pen blending, and they all work in exactly the same way. All this is is tri blend uh, like um, an entry level get started version of classics. So the customer journey, as we always talk about in our place, somebody brand new starting out, uh, we always say tri-blend is the place to start. And then you would step up from tri-blend to the classic markers. They're like the next step up for you. And then you could step, if you want to step a bit further again, you can go from the classic to the illustrators. Right. Wonderful. So that's kind of like the... The planned, in terms of developing your skills, which is why the very first class I did, I did with the uh, tri-blend markers to get you started. And now I'm building you up. I'm taking you all on that journey. And you didn't even realise it, did you not? There you go. No. Uh, I found out where the poppy's from. Uh, it's from the Butterfly Meadow Rubber Stamp Collection, oh. uh, which is available on our website. So there you are. That is where uh, that is. Um... Love the poppy. It was my introduction to the Spectrum Noir Classic, uh, says Donna, which is uh, fantastic. Now, you know, uh, oh, big collection. I need to give you a stock update. I said um, a fifth of the stock had gone. However, over a quarter now uh, of the stock uh, has gone. Uh, oh, I'm back. Uh, Sarah's still there, carrying away in the corner. Don't worry, you're not going to miss anything. Now, uh, something else, uh, Sarah. You know you were doing a giveaway over on your um, Facebook page. Uh, yes, for, your birthday. for my birthday. Yeah, what were you giving away? Were you giving away one of the aprons? I was oh. indeed, Joe. I was oh. giving away one of your aprons. 
Now, this was the picture, me uh, looking, you know, like a superhero, obviously, uh, just here was the picture. And uh, Sarah asks you for captions. Um, <laughs> and actually, uh, the winner uh, of the caption competition is Debbie Holiday. So congratulations, Debbie Holiday. And her caption was, um, he's saying, now shut the front door, the back door, and turn the lights off. These aprons are going so fast. <laughs> Which <laughs> I think... probably were, were it's yes. pretty accurate. I think that's probably exactly what I was saying, to be fair. So, uh, yeah, uh, congratulations, Debbie Holiday. Uh, you will need to email pri uh, prizes at crafterscompanion.com uh, and we'll get that sent out to you, which is fantastic. Now, I just need to give you a recap on uh, the two different collections that we have. The 72-piece uh, collection is really busy. However, far and away the busiest is the larger collection. I will just go through the 72-piece and show you what you get because that also um, makes up the larger collection. So in the 72 police collection, you're going to get all of the six packs and you're going to get your colours. So you're going to get reds, yellows, greens, turquoises, uh, browns, blues, purples. You're also going to get pinks, greys, uh, fair skin, dark skin and your shade and tone as well. So they're your 72 markers that are coming in there. You're then going to get one of the finesse uh, ink pads and you're going to get the storage for you uh, to be able to store your pens in. You get one of those as well. The extras come to £25 here. So if you take the extras off of your um, pens, uh, then cost per pen, you're looking at about a pound a pen in this configuration, about $1.30 per pen. However, Loads of you are going for the colossal, huge, super fan, super fan bumper collection, which is going to give you everything. You're going to be able to do pretty much any technique, any style of curling when you've got this huge collection. Now, it's uh, 199 uh, pounds in the UK. It's 250 dollars if you're in the US. You're going to get all these extra pens included. So you're going to get the brights. You're also going to get the pastels. You're going to get the jewels the vintage, the floral, and you're going to get the nature, which is this one down here as well. So you're getting a lot more pens. You're getting 144 pens total in this collection. We're gonna give you three more of your storage uh, containers. We're gonna give you the rocker blocks as well, two extra ink pads included in there too. So the, the, the extra bits within this collection comes to 105 pounds or 134 dollars. So when you subtract that, from the cost of all the pens, your cost per marker in this collection is 65p or 80 cents. So it goes from being a pound to 65p. I think that's why so many of you are going for this big collection. Don't forget, also, if you're ordering today, you're going to get a free gift on all orders over £30 or $30. So you're going to even get to choose a free gift as well. So we really are bringing you lots of great uh, deals. Now, let's just go back to the... Um, oh, Stacey was asking in the questions, Sarah, can you uh, use these with stencils, these um, alcohol markers? No. Okay. No, it's just the quick, the quick, easy answer for that one is uh, no, these are not designed to use with uh, stencils. Fantastic. Okie doke. Uh, Lisa is asking what's the studio email. I went and sent you a picture. It's studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. It's just there uh, along the bottom of the screen uh, for you. Uh, Helen is saying, so just to clarify, are the classics and the tri blends the same colours, Sarah? Yes, yes. We, Wonderful. Uh, we, do you know what we do? We do all of the same colour families. So, for example, in the I'm using here the CGs. There is probably a CG tri-blend pen, right, which would have three shades of CG. What, you're, what we're giving you here is basically all of the CGs. So whereas in the tri-blends you just get one of each colour, uh, we are giving you uh, essentially three uh, well, sorry, you get you get three of each colour in the tri blend. Here, you are getting the whole the whole set, the whole colour family. Like I said, it's about it's about stepping up, right? It's about it, it's about the tri blends where you start and you kind of learn and you start on that journey. These are the next level again to take you to that kind of next stage, as it was. Okie doke. Um, Kerry sounds like she's doing having a lovely afternoon. She's sitting in the garden with her tri-blends having a colour, which sounds lovely, doesn't nice. it? It's going to be uh, perfect weather for being uh, 
in the garden with uh, social distancing, obviously. Uh, but if you do have the luxury of a garden, it's going to be 18 degrees uh, up here, which, let's face it, in the northeast is pretty tropical, Sarah. It is. I've never known. <laughs> I mean, I've only lived here a few weeks, and I've never known somewhere so cold and so wi so windy. <laughs> and I must say, like, in we London... We've had lovely weather the last few weeks as well. well you, for put the, you put, you put the weather... selling it, are we not? <laughs> you put the weather on, and they're like, in London, it's 26 degrees, and there's pictures of people, you know, baking next to rivers and... Uh, lakes and ponds and then it cuts to the local weather and it's like eight degrees and blowing a gale I don't know it's got its own little microclimate here in the northeast I think um, I hope you have a lovely weather wherever you are um, someone else asking about the free gifts when you check out it all happens for you as you go through the checkout process you'll be prompted to select which one of the three gifts uh, you would like to choose so it all is taken uh, care for you it should and it also uh, will apply automatically which is fantastic I'm just hearing how much of the stock of the colossal collection is going on our way to a third of the stock gone uh, of that big big bumper collection uh, which is what most of you are going for we had really really deep stock of that but a lot of it uh, is selling through and going which we're really pleased with. and please make sure you send us in your pictures uh, next week when you've got yours and you've done some of your uh, coloring with it we would love to see uh, your pictures Ooh. just hearing how busy it is also for the apron Sarah too over three quarters of the apron is now sold out and gone so it's very very busy uh, that's the for end that. of the apron that's the end of the apron and can I just explain actually about that about that big bundle yes we have loads and loads of our classics pens right so we're not going to run out if you're just buying 72 pence set for example and then you're wanting to add the extras we have you know we have an endless amount of them however that bundle we only they only let me do so many special offers at once i know you think mm, you know I, we kind of push our look a little bit me and joe but because that is such a ridiculously high it was a 40 percent off we generally only do 40% off on the sort of products when they are coming to their, the end of their lifespan and they're getting into like discount close out territory. We don't do it on our core essentials. So these are, we're going to be selling these exact classic pens probably for the next 10 years, right? So it, they, we have literally reached the pinnacle of pen manufacturing all of the all of the essential all of the really clever stuff is now built into this pen this was our new relaunch and trust me we wouldn't do a mark ii kind of relaunch pen lightly that's the, to make that sort of decision because i know a lot of people millions of pens of these we sell every year and thought our classic pens are fabulous right our, we call them the coloring system pens but we've significantly improved it when we've made this pen we bring in for those of you that missed me explain before we bring in all our inks formulated here in the uk the formulations are then brought together it's a secret formulation to us and then they are that those inks are sent into our factory we then have all of our nibs made in japan and specialist uh, nib factory they are made to our specifications and sent in. We've got this unique ergonomic design, which is proprietary to us, which means nobody else can do a pen this shape. You'll only get this shape in the Spectrum Noir markers. We're using the same pen shape now for our top end illustrator pens as what we're using for our entry level. These are the entry level ones, which is why, you know, at two pounds a pen or three dollars a pen, they are exceptional value compared to other pens of this quality. They are almost double the quality you would expect at the price point you're paying that is not taking into account the price that we have today so what I've tried to do is when I put this collection together that 72 piece collection I've tried to say okay most people are going to just go for the 72 pens let's make it an awesome deal and I'm going to show you the 72 pens in the set again and explain to you why why it's really important okay so if we go for example with the blues we're saying do you know what if you're just kind of starting six blues is all we're going to give you because we've got 12 color families to give you so six blues we are going to give you three in the true blue family and three in the ice blue family so you can see there how this is a completely different shade to what this one is right these will all blend together these will all blend together it's the same when you come into the pinks you've got some of the magentas and some of the bright pinks these are from different color families so they don't mix together they're all pink but doesn't mean you should use them together. You should use the MGs together or the BPs together. If you are adding with the extra 24 piece sets, you'll see we will mix up. So you've, you've got BP one, four and six, but we've, we've missed, you know, two and three, five, seven, 
we've missed some extra colours. That is what the extension packs give you if, you want, if you're going for the, the larger set, okay? Same with the turquoises, some of the green turquoises and the blue turquoises. The reds that I've just been using. So you get some of the corals and some of the dark reds. So that's where you can be doing some of the corals, like you've just watched me colouring. Or you can be doing the dark red. Different colour families, both shades of red. So you can see how with the 72 pen set, those are the shade and tone, I'll come back to them. With the 72 pen set, we're always giving you uh, what we call a warm blend and a cool blend in each set. So the greys, undertones of red in this set, undertones of blue in this one. Your greens, your lovely citrus greens and then your dull greens in there, totally different shading. Uh, your browns, I use the tans a lot. The tans are a really fantastic colour family. The earth browns are brilliant for hair shades, for example. Uh, but if you look at the tans, we start at seven. So what about if you want tans one to six? They're in the extension packs. The extension packs are what comes in the bigger collection. The purples, you've got the purple violets and you've got the purple lilacs, right? We've got the red browns and we've got the golden browns in here. Now your flesh tones, you basically get six of the flesh tones, but within the flesh, you see, they're not just all starting at one and going to nine or whatever. You can see the early on flesh tones are your more pinky ones. The middle colours are your more peachy ones. Then the higher ends go to your more um, eggshelly ones, right? Then I did talk about the shade and tone. That's when we get things like the one to go around the outside, give it the shading. Uh, you've got your black in there, your blender, and some of the shades to drop, drop on the tones. That is your, basically, if you go for the 72 pens, it really is everything you need to get started. However, if you go for that additional, if you go for the 144 pen set, these are the extra pens that you get, okay? You are getting uh, the vintage, you've got the florals, you've got the pastels, right? You then get the nature set. You're getting the jewel tones and you're getting the brights. So these all plug the gap. So for example, there's dark red one and coral seven, some of the extras that go with the nice reds that you've got in the set. What we've done is as well, if you are going for that 144 pen set, we are sending you all of the trays that you need to be able to store. So whichever set you go for, we're giving you all of the trays you need to get started. So we're giving you basically get double the sets of trays, two sets of trays, instead of one set of trays on there. You also get the extra ink pads and you get the rocker blocks. So that is giving you kind of everything you need to get started. Hope that makes sense, Joe. For a lot of people, I know you're sitting there thinking, am I going for the 72 or am I going for the 144? Hopefully that kind of explains where you would want to go. And remember what I said, when we do the colour blend short, that's going to build on, they're going to be colouring on top of all of these pens. When we do the illustrator, they're going to add into what you have with the classics. These are your foundation pens. The tri blends are like the try me get into blending. This is the, okay, I'm into this now, I'm going to be going for this. These are the pens you want to go for. Fantastic. Uh, now, something else that's very, very busy. The 72 pen carry case, £23 or well, 31 dollars uh, a lot of you are uh, multi-ordering on this as well so i'm guessing some of you are getting two of these uh, to fill uh, your complete bundle so if you want to grab these definitely grab it whilst it's on a fantastic saving uh, as well so uh, i want to give you a heads up on something else that's very busy uh, we have the molly harrison uh, stamps on the show for you there's so many pens on this desk i don't have room to honestly there's no way you could swing a cap in this side of the studio. I'm sort of like blocked in. It's quite fabulous, all of these colours surrounding me. Uh, I want to um, take you through the collection that you've got. So there's eight different stamps uh, within here. Now they're 9 99 each, or they are two for, uh, two for 16 pounds or 24 dollars. So it's completely up to you how you get them. So this one, you've got poppies of amethyst on here. All of these are gonna be great uh, to go alongside your, alongside your coloring mediums. Oh, I need to knock my pens over. You've got a summer day there. Now you also have uh, fairy tale dreams, which is this one just here. Again, really nice big focal um, points on these. You've also got some embellishments. You've got some sentiments. Lily of Love is another option for you. Molly Harrison, of course, an, or, of, um, an artist, renowned artist from uh, Northern California, um, who draws these beautiful images uh, for us. Sea of Bubbles, love this one, like a mermaid there. I'd love to see uh, the colour combinations you use on her tail there. Sultry Sue which is this one just here. Again, really beautiful imagery. You've got hearts, 
which is that one there. And your final option is Martyr's Garden. Now, as I said, $9.99 or $14.95 each for them. Martyr's Garden is actually uh, the most popular one at the moment. Or two of these uh, would be £16 or $24. Um, so, Sonia saying thank you for the explanation about the tri blends. Do the tri blends fit in the case? Not the case that I just shared with you. There is a specific tri blend case on our website. So, do go search for that uh, there. Um, so oh, the uh, Bernie's asking about the blender pen. If you go out the lines, can you use it uh, to blend it in? Yes, absolutely, it's perfect uh, for that. Uh, and loads of you saying, <laughs> uh, Sarah, I wonder saying, you know, like um, airlines, Sarah, do like credit cards. Maybe we could do a Crafts Companion credit card and you could uh, earn <laughs> Club Inspire points on all your purchases everywhere. That sounds like a fabulous idea, Wanda. I'm uh, sure we can get uh, Sara to uh, to investigate um, that. Bernadette saying, Ohio, Sara and Joe. Ohio to you, Bernadette, uh, in Ohio. Um, now, uh, if you've just tuned in, uh, oh, lots of people talking about the, oh yes, the craft vault. How could we forget? There's been so much going on. Um, in this show there is going to be a craft vault at the end of this show and there's fabulous stuff on it as well there isn't a huge amount of stuff i've got about five bits for you but the bits i do have are absolutely uh, fantastic now for anyone that's just joining us i know the molly harrison stamps are really really busy sorry but for anyone that's just joining us could you give us a little bit of a recap about these pens well i am yes what i'm going to do joy is i'm going to use those beautiful molly harrison stamps if you are stamping for the first time but we had some questions earlier about rocker blocks versus stamping platforms because this is such a big stamp i've put her onto a stamping platform now the important thing to remember when you're doing all of your uh, alcohol pen coloring is you need to have two key ingredients the right paper and the right ink now if you are printing out an image at home print it out on your regular inkjet printer and it works brilliantly well with the alcohol pens if you are using a stamp you must have this ink. let me show you you must have the finesse alcohol proof ink because what it is is they are it's the opposite type of ink to what's in your pens which means you get the, the you don't get the smudging as we stamp with it so let me just show you i've put her onto the um onto the stamping platform and i'm taking the ink to the stamp so that we do lots of little light tapping all over and i've got my nina classic crest underneath right so we pop this down she's going to stamp down make sure we stamp all over it's a very very big image so i'm just making sure we've got her stamped absolutely beautifully now total top tip when it comes to alcohol alcohol pen coloring is you're going to take another sheet of paper and put it underneath so you're always coloring onto a sheet of scrap paper now let's have a little start let's go right back to the beginning let's start with her face when we're doing flesh tones i want you to use so i'm going to go um uh, let's have a look 876 right i want you to use all pens from within the same color family so i'm on the fleshes so can you see we've got six seven and eight and what happens is the bigger the number the darker the shade so wherever we would have shade i'm going to come in uh, right underneath her hairline there is where i would put in the darker shade same as if i come around the back here we're going to bring it down the back of her arm and then we'd have shade from this centerpiece a little bit of shade coming down her chest there and then the same back up the side here so you're always wanting to do this this notion of a three color blend so we're coming with the darkest one into the medium shade so i'm just doing little circular motions over where the darkest shade finishes and what happens is joe there's more alcohol in the lighter color so the lighter the color the more alcohol you've got and the more alcohol the more it bleaches out the previous color so that's just giving me that little bit of shading all the way up here and then i can do exactly the same with the lightest shade on there can you see there beautiful right now it's a little bit hard to see i always like to start with flesh tones because it's what people always always want to learn more about um but it's a little bit hard to see there where you will see this really, really well is when we start to colour her dress, right? So, these pens are all double-ended. So, you've got the fine nib 
and we've also got this lovely big chisel nib so what i'm going to do is don't be shocked don't be alarmed i'm just going to put down we're going to go in with a nice magenta color i'm just going to put down a base layer of pen onto here so we've got her nice and you know wet really wet with alcohol the alcohol i'll tell you what she's having she's having a good party day so there we go come in with the dark uh, come in with the lightest one now i'm going to jump this was the magenta two i'm going to jump to number five and i'm going to come in with the fine tip now watch this we would have a little bit of darkness underneath her arm so that's where i'm going to put in depth into here and I'm going to bring it right down, a little bit of darkness uh, underneath the ram at the top as well, and bring this down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to step down. So that was five. Let's step down to four. And I'm going to do circular motions over the top of where five finishes, right? And, where, and then where the lighter one starts. Now, at the moment, you wouldn't even think that these were all from the same colour family. But trust me, all will start and fall into place in just a second, right? So there's our next shade one. And then we're going to come in with the next one. So we're going to step down to three. And I'm going to do the same again, just with that rounded edge. I'm just blending over the end of where number two finished. And we'll go up, so straight over the edge there, and you get that beautiful ombre effect. This is what we're after, the ombre all the way down. And then we come right onto the lighter one, and then this shades right down from here. Can you see? So now you can't see where the dark one started and the lighter one finished. Yeah, we've got that lovely ombre effect going on. And as that starts, as that starts to dry, uh, the alcohol will evaporate and you'll see that shading more. I'm going to do exactly the same, Joe, where we would have shading in all of these folds of the fabric. So, for example, this bit of fabric here looks like it's behind, so I'm going to put shading in. This one here looks like it's behind. Wherever, anything that's behind, you're going to put that shading into the fabric. Does that make sense? And we're just going to follow that around looking gorgeous uh, andrea is saying these are great pens uh, renee also just received uh, some of the classics and absolutely uh, love them We've been un inundated uh, with comments and questions uh, as we have gone uh, through these uh, a lot of you just talking as well in the comments uh, sonia uh, saying that um, if she's having a tough day she goes into her craft room grabs her pens and uh, just chills out and does some coloring which i think uh, so many of you uh, talk about uh, doing now there's a couple of different ways for you to get hold of these beautiful uh, classic markers so we have two different sets for you we have the uh, 72 piece collection which is kind of like the try me the starter kit if you will and in here what you're going to get is you're going to get uh, your reds your yellows your greens you also get your turquoise your browns your blues you're getting your purples you're also getting pinks grays fair skin dark skin and shadow and tone in that 72 pens total and we give you the storage and you get one of the ink pads now when you take off the price of the ink pads and the storage in this configuration which is the core elements of the collection uh, it works out to about a pound per pen which is fantastic value uh, at about 130 dollars uh, uh, per pen which is great value when you consider you'd be paying maybe three pounds or four dollars for this kind of quality out there on the high street what we've also then got is a bumper collection now it's double the amount of pens and basically it's the extension packs for all of uh, the pens i've just shown you because what you're then getting also included in here is you're getting your brights your pastel your jewel your vintage your floral and your nature you're getting three more of the storage trays you're also getting the rocker blocks and you're getting two more of the ink pads now you're getting 105 pounds or 134 dollars worth of bonus elements on top of your pen so if you take that off of the cost of the pens it actually works out to about 65 pence per marker or about 80 cents per marker when you get it in this configuration so yes it is a bit more money however the value for money is absolutely amazing and you've got everything that you need to be able to do all of these different uh, techniques that you've been seeing uh, very busy on both collections however uh, the bumper collection which is everything uh, is far and away in the lead at the moment Sarah that is looking gorgeous may I say these stamps from Molly Harrison honestly well, well they've been made to colour 
That, that's that's the best the best compliment I can give them is they have you know Molly Harrison has designed these she's worked with us to give us the designs that she knows are what people will enjoy colouring so I'm finding this skirt I love to colour it it's really really challenging but it follows a kind of pattern so I'm all I'm doing is following the um the folds in the skirt to get the idea of the um can you see of how it all blends. So I'm back to my number two now and I'm just blending this right out. It she look her dress looks truly 3D. Now I'll be really honest, Joe. When I started colouring, these are the sort of images that would terrify me. They they seemed like what the advanced colourists would be colouring, not what I would be able to do. But because all I'm doing, we've got loads of like example imagery of where we've coloured them, and all you're doing is following what we've done it becomes accessible for even beginner level. It's just about having the right pens. And look at that, look at that, that amazing shading. If you ever want to enhance the shading, by the way, you can always just go back over it again, re-wet re it, which means get more alcohol into there, and you, it'll just give you more opportunity to blend. Now, I don't know if you can see, can you see I've made a little bit of a boo-boo in here, right? So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back in with my lightest pen shade, make sure that you've got another piece of scrap card behind. And I'm just going to push this in, I'm gonna push the wrongly colored one out, right? So I'm just, I'm just pushing it out with the lighter pen and it just disappears, right? And what it's actually done is, the ink has pushed it through to the back of the paper, right? So it's pushed it right through and now I can shade that back up. So if you go out the lines, you can do the same with the blender pen if you ever go over the edge. But I just went in with a lighter shade one there and she's blended absolutely beautifully. Now I want to show you another last little technique before I jump off this. What happens if I want to, so can you see on this one here, we've got a slightly different colour. We've got a bit of a blue shading up through there. What happens if you want to put a blue onto the bottom? Well, let me show you. I'm going to find a nice blue that I think will work with this. I think a nice little bit of uh, true blue. Let's have a look. Uh, TB. I might come in with a lighter one first and see how it works, right? Now, what I'm doing is glass mat underneath, putting a little bit of colour down on the glass mat. I think I'll go with a slightly darker shade just so that you can see it, right? There you go. You can see that now. Then, on my pen, I'm going to pick up that colour onto the nib of my pen. Right, and I'm just going to do little circular motions over the bottom and then bringing it up the base of the dress. And what it does is, it's called palette blending this. So I've put in a little bit of shade. I'm going to pick up that little bit onto the end here. I'm going to put it on the bottom of here, bring this on and then just, just essentially work the colour out of the nib. All right, so we, that we get that back to being a perfectly pink nib. And that's how you just add little bit of extra shading and dimension in there if you want to mix different colours together, right? So I'm going to do exactly the same here, little bit, another colour into the base here and then blending it all through and that's how you do, how you do another little bit of shading onto the bottom of any of your colours. Doesn't that look fabulous? It just shows you, just shows you exactly where you could be taking that. Now there are loads and loads of other techniques. I am literally scratching the surface here. We have loads of DVDs that take you through all of the techniques, loads of instructional things. We've got loads and loads of other content on our Crafters TV hub. So whether you go to our Crafters TV page on the website or you go to YouTube and search Crafters Companion, I'm not the expert colourist in our business. We have an expert colourist, she's called Leanne. She put this whole system together and worked on the development of these pens. Go and look up some of her tutorials with this and you'll find you can take it, you take your colouring that another step further. Now, any other comments, Joe? I'm going to keep colouring with this. I'm going to show you a little bit more palette blending. I'm going to blend some colours on her wings. You can all watch what I'm doing. Uh, you can just chuck any other questions at me that you've got. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Lisa is saying, wow, so beautiful. Um, Robbie's saying, uh, thanks for showing us how to fix a uh, colour. How to fix a boo-boo. Yeah, how to fix them. Because we've all been there, haven't we? I did a lot of... I went... I go over the lines all the time. Surely other people must go over the lot. You know, I, I'm all forever doing it. I'm, I'm a bit scrappy. Uh, <laughs> um, 
Tracy saying the little poppy stamp that Sarah coloured in, is that in a set? I cannot find it. It is in the Butterfly Meadow uh, collection. It's this rubber, rubber stamp set just there. Go over to the website, search for it, uh, you'll find it. It's that one in the back of there uh, that Sarah is. One of uh, Leanne's favourites, that one. Um, also, uh, June saying, love the tip. Thank you. Uh, should I saying, uh, thank you for another great... Sh should I have made up her own names for these shows? She calls them look listen and learn <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, which is fantastic uh, if you're not the expert then I want to be like you Robbie says uh, here in the comments um, loving the tip about blending the different colours as well Tracy saying thanks Joe we'll go and uh, find uh, that stamp set over on the website uh, it is very very busy as we knew it would be 40% uh, of the uh, bumper collection uh, has sold out and gone and remember many many more of you are going to come back and watch these we will watch these shows not even come back to watch them after um, the show has aired in fact tens of thousands of you uh, quite regularly watch back our shows after uh, they've been um, after they have aired uh, keep getting your questions in we've got about another 15 minutes here with you at the moment so it's definitely not too late to uh, get any questions in there will be a craft fault so maybe 10 minutes of this show 10 minutes left to get your questions in and a craft fault at the end where I'm gonna that's basically me rummaging around the warehouse finding you fantastic deals and we've got some great ones available uh, on the show today they're all there on the website at the moment so you're more than welcome to go over there and uh, shop ahead and um, fix them uh, John is asking um, so if you can use the blending pen with the tri blends and is the blending pen sold separately yes and yes yes it works beautifully well with the tri blends and yes you can absolutely uh, buy it separately wonderful uh, tracy's saying that stamp set has sold out on its own um she's popped her email address if anything is ever sold out on our website put your email address in underneath there's a little bo uh, box so you put your email address and then we email you the moment it comes back in stocks always good to know don't forget as well about the apron uh, i know uh, that uh, over three quarters of the stock of the apron has gone do you want a twirl i'll just stand up a second to show you it is beautiful almost oh, my, my straps riding up there we go uh, but it's wonderful it's fully adjustable as well so if you are a little larger around the top let's say uh, it'll all fit in or if you're a little larger around the middle like me it will also go in there as well because you've got those adjustable straps and it's fantastic you've got a nice big pocket here you've got three smaller pockets here it even comes with Sarah stole mine unfortunately but it even comes with uh, a microfiber cloth which attaches uh, to these little um, straps inside so you never uh, use it I think they're absolutely uh, wonderful um, Peg is asking, uh, Sarah, is there 216 classic pens? Is that correct? That is right. There Wonderful. are 200. If you're going for the whole collection, there are 216 pens in the whole set. Fantastic. Always good to know. Oh, do you want to see some more photos, Sarah? I'd really... love to see some more. Let's have a little look here then. I love this uh, a lot of these don't have names on them unfortunately so if it is yours then uh well, wow that, the that is fabulous uh, this is lynn harvey lynn uh, that is amazing oh i love do you know it's the it's the shading on her hair the thing mm. is these classic markers you are joining if you're getting some today for the first time you are literally joining uh, the the millions of people who swear by these pens on an almost daily basis so once you get there you are literally the there's just so much support there because it's a product that so many people use. Fantastic. Look who this is as well. Oh, it's our Debbie. Oh, Debbie, you're what? Uh, you're what, me love? We'll find out later, I'm sure. Keep an eye on our social media channels if you want to know what we're doing. I'm trying to work out where she is there. It looks like she's in... Is she? Oh, she's outside of Crate and Craft, we think. <laughs> uh, I was like, where is that? I've already, I've already looked familiar. Uh, uh, we can't wait to have Debbie uh, back with us uh, here on Crafters uh, TV. Sandy says she's got her apron and a mug on order and she can't wait to receive it. I know so many of you uh, went for that when it was over on HSN. Now, talking about our US viewers, uh, this time next Friday, 
We're going to be getting ready for something very exciting, aren't we, Sarah? Oh, we are, yes, because uh, 5th of May is the next HSN show day. So I, I've asked, I've enrolled Joe's help again because he was such a good help last time gossiping. <laughs> uh, I've brought him back in again to gossip to everybody. So all those of you watching us in the US, if you are wanting the uh, the preview of what's coming up on HSN, we'll be doing that. Uh, next. Is it next Friday? We're next doing Friday. At 3 o'clock oh, in the UK. Where does so the time go? At 10 a.m. Eastern time, uh, we'll be doing it next Friday. So, uh, yeah, it's come around quick again, isn't it? Uh, and of course, um, Sarah will be joining you on HSN from uh, here, direct from Newton Aycliffe to uh, Florida, which will be fantastic. <laughs> I just want to recap one more time what you're getting included as well. I'm just going to do the bumper collection because there is uh, so many of you are going for the bumper collection. It uh, really is the one that everyone is going for. Uh, so in the bumper collection, you get everything that's in the smaller 72 piece collection and more. So what you're getting is, you're getting the reds, the yellows, the greens, the turquoises, the browns, the blues, the purples, the pinks, the greys, the fair skin, the dark skin, the shade and tone. You're going to get four of the storage uh, trays. You're also then going to get bright pastel, jewel, vintage, floral and nature 12 packs. And you're going to get three ink pads and the rocker blocks. When you take off the cost of the extra bits that you're getting on top of the pens there, you're looking at a cost per pen of 65 pence or 80 cents if you are in the US. That is off the chart amazing value for money. And it's why uh, a lot of the stock has already sold out and gone on, on our way to half the stock. Uh, being sold out on this big collection. So if you want it, definitely grab it. And we'd love you to send us in pictures of what you've been creating with it on next week's Colour Me Happy show. Um, now, uh, Annabelle Stensley, uh, Spensley even, uh, has been very, very busy in this show. Six stamp collections within here. And you'll get the rocker blocks included too. Uh, $29.99 and four or $41.94 in the US, saving a quarter there. Now, uh, loads still to come. I'm about to go and get myself all set up uh, for the craft vault. Uh, so whilst I'll do that, I'm going to leave you uh, with Sarah for a bit more colouring, uh, which is what we all love, let's face it. Yeah, what I wanted to just run through, Joe, is for those of you who want to really understand what it is about these pens. So I know there'll be a lot of people out there watching who maybe have our original Spectrum Noir colouring system pens. So they were the one, they were like a hexagonal barrel and they had like a little rubber grip on them. Basically, what we've done with these pens is we've upgraded. And I want to explain to you again why we've upgraded, right? So those of you watching who've got those other pens... I'm going to just, here we go. Those of you um, watching who's got, who've got our other pens, basically, we when we released these pens, we released them, Craig, I think it was seven or eight years ago, um, and we didn't know an awful lot about alcohol pens. We learned a lot to develop that pen system, and those pens were revolutionary in their time. So other, other pens that work like this, uh, you were talking, they were upwards of four to five pounds per pen. And we wanted to do something where we could bring a regular, crafter at home the opportunity to buy these pens at an affordable price not an artist price so we developed a crafter quality pen at a crafter price and they were like two pounds a pen fantastic fantastic value at that sort of price point now what's happened is we made such a name for ourselves in the industry spectrum noir literally became a household name in the coloring sector and we sell millions of pens all over the world so we went from just having our basic pens to developing pens at a much higher level so our illustrator pens are actually artist grade pens at a very top high level and through doing that we've developed eight years of um, understanding and knowledge about how to make the best pens in the world so we now work with the top ink formulators from around the world to formulate what's called proprietary ink to us so only our pens have our formulation of ink in them it's that clever it's that good and it's the same ink that goes into our illustrator Illustrator pens, our tri blend pens, and our classic pens, which are our main pen, okay? So the ink's formulated really specially. Then we have a special manufacturer. We work with the top brush manufacturer in Japan. They make all of our amazing nibs, and then our nibs are sent into the factory. 
We then worked on how to make the hold of the pen much higher. So when we developed our illustrator pens, we developed them to be really ergonomic so that they would sit in your hand really, really comfortably for people to colour with. We had such great feedback on them pens. What we did is we've relaunched our classic pens into the barrel that is ergonomic to hold that our illustrator pens are done in, which is why these are now exactly the same barrel as the illustrator pens, not the original barrel that we did with our Spectrum Noir pen, so they're much more ergonomic. So when we were relaunching the pens and putting them into this new ergonomic barrel, we decided to put in the top grade ink. We decided to improve all of the nibs and put in the top grade nibs. And the great news for you is, because we now manufacture millions upon millions of these pens, our what's called economies of scale, so we can make them at a much more affordable price, and we pass that cost saving on to you. So essentially, this is an upgrade of pen. So quality-wise, it's probably sitting at double the quality of our original Spectrum Noir Classic markers, now that we've got all of that extra engineering and technology behind it. Yet what we've decided to do is not launch a higher level pen, just replace our a basic pen offering with this very very high-end pen so for those of you that have had our spectrum noir classic pens absolutely love them and you're thinking well do i want to go for these i can tell you now this is the upgrade this is the high level pen just at the entry level cost price and what you could do is this is the one that we sell the most of this is the pen that's sold in every craft and art shop literally around the world Get these pens, these are then a gate opener to so much more. So we talked about next week, we're going to look at colour blend pencils. You can use your colour blend pencils on top of your pens. It's the classics that you use as a base. When we talk about adding the Illustrator pens into the, mo in, into the, the mix as it was, you can use all of the, whether it's the 72 or the 144 pens you're going for today, you can use all of those and then add in the brush nib with the colours that you want to do the fancy techniques with. And the great thing about that is they all play nicely together. These classic pens, it's all the same ink formulation, the same pen barrel. All you're paying for extra essentially in the Illustrator is that very, very high-end brush nib. So this, if you if you sat there thinking, am I, am I going to get into this or not? This is your starting point. Get into it with this and then see, we will take you on that journey. I am literally, whether you realise it or not, I am building you up from whatever level you're at now. I'm going to continue to build your skill level over the course of the next few weeks or few months as it was, as we build into them a little bit further. So alcohol pen colouring, if you're getting into it, these are the pens to go for. You're just making that decision. Are you going for the 72 pen set or are you going for the 144 pen set? Are you just dipping your toe in the water and trying this or are you right in there with both feet you're on that journey we're going to start here we're going to add the color blend pencils the illustrators and take it to that next level now joe's almost ready for his craft vault before i let you go there i'm just going to remind you well, let's have a look at the ones that i colored now that they've dried and the alcohol's evaporated we've got that gorgeous this is the annabelle spensley stamps they are absolutely fabulous so can you see she's lovely she, she's got a really rounded face in them we've got the lovely highlighting on her skirt and she was just an absolute joy to color now i've got a few annabelle spensley's there's the one that's the same image that i've just done uh, this is the same image again, but in a completely different colour set and colour family. You've, all, you've also got the image where she's off going shopping. Love that one. Uh, you've got the one where, oh, here's another one of her going shopping again. She could be off doing her, there's some lovely she ones a on a swing. Shopping, she does do a lot of shopping, does this little girl. She does. Uh, the one on the swing. They're beautiful, beautiful designs. These are all of them here. So we've got the one where she's a cheerleader, birthday cheers, uh, the one where she's bringing you a nice big cup of coffee, I love you this much it's called, lovely lady, she's going to have some lovely ruffles in her skirt to practice colouring with there as well, enjoy the adventure is the one where she's on the swing which is the next one I love to colour, the one where she's off shopping and then also the one that I used uh, which was this one here where she's holding there, so that is your Annabelle Spensley stamps, your Molly Harrison's uh, we have down here as well. So just a couple of samples from the Molly Harrisons, because I know a lot of you going for the pens today, you're going to be want to be getting a lot of the images that you can practice colouring with. So here's the one that I was colouring. She's absolutely gorgeous. If you want to see what she looks like finished, there she is. And that's this is the technique I was showing you where you're bringing another colour up from the base or you're blending different shades across the wings, right? This again lovely big open spaces to try practice blending those different shades 
you can see here lovely folds in the skirt to be practicing your blending with lots of big open skin tone areas the mermaid is really popular and on trend and i can tell you i've colored her those scales in a few times and they are really really fun to color with this is my favorite i love this skirt to color in fact I've, i'm going to pull in a few different ones of these so you can see this is what it's going to be like when you're doing all of the shading and blending with those multiple colors just make sure you use colors from within the same color family and it's going to work an absolute treat uh, you've then got the and um, the toadstool all that design Look of designs in the collection so with the molly harrison basically they're 9.99 each but you can go and multi-buy and choose whichever images you want sultry sue my favorite she's in the lead now i wonder if that's because i tell you she's my favorite or she's your favorite as well i love this technique of blending the two shades together uh, but go and have a look on the website we've got loads of stamps that are brilliant color so you can choose all of your favorite images but it's all about having the right pens so you just go and decide are you going for the 72 pen collection or are you going for the 144 pen collection and let me know how you get on i will go and get organized for next week's show i've promised you now we'll do color blend so i'll get that sorted for you we'll talk about doing an illustrator show a few weeks down the line take you on that journey but go and get your classic pens now to get started but before you do you must have a look at what joe's got in today's craft fault to decide what you're going to get to go with it absolutely i feel like a newsreader now one of the stuff's gone and I just see over here uh, shuffling uh, my uh, card. Uh, Joe, Joe, your Hang mic's on. gone off. Your mic's gone off. I'll talk to everybody over here while you can switch your mic back on. I don't know how you're going to switch your mic back on, but I'll talk to them all over here. I would come and tell you as well what's on Joe's craft vault, but I have no idea because Joe's craft vault is Joe's craft vault. For those of you that don't know, what happens is Joe does his own thing with craft vault, so he literally pops to our warehouse every week. He has a good, he has a look around. Well, a lot of what he does is he's going through all the spreadsheets of what's in stock and he picks through and every week there is a different deal so it's either uh, three for two or everything's got 20 percent off or sometimes everything's half price or whatever but joe literally curates you an assortment of deals and the craft vault has fast become one of the kind of um one of the feature events of every day. We don't do them on a Thursday, so if you didn't get one yesterday, but we do craft vaults Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then the last one of the week happens on a Friday. So, what's in your last one of the week, Joe? Oh, my last craft four of the... Oh, there you go, I am back. Sorry about that. Uh, loads in this one for you. We've got some dyes, we've got some stamps, we've got some century repel as well. Half price deals is what we are talking about today on the show. Now, the craft vault, as Sarah was saying, always so busy. It's where you'll find amazing deals. For me doing a lot of nagging and looking at spreadsheets and rummaging uh, around the warehouse we're going to start you off with some century repair because look let's face it you can't have too much century repair in your life and especially when it's not this beautiful old gold check out how pearlescent and shiny that one is uh, you've got that beautiful gold there it's a really lovely weight too uh, it's a universal weight so it's great for construction it is also great uh, for card making i think you could even probably get away with using it for a card blank as well if you wanted to not only are you getting the gold though oh no no not for 2.99 we bring you the best prices here uh, on the craft fault you're also going to get this cherry and this cherry is a gorgeous uh, pop of color uh, you've got here it's a real lovely dark cherry red now 2.99 or 4.49 gets you both of those which is quite fantastic now next one uh, background layering stamps i'll pop those just over here now these are always busy whenever we bring them to you because uh, what you've got is one stamp set that's going to do so much for you if i flip this round can you see here what you've got so you've got different stamps that give you different results so if you use stamps one and two you'll get this result uh, if you use uh two and three you get this one and three gives you this or use them all together and you get that but actually i think they look beautiful if they're just stamped individually as they are as well and what you're going to be able to work up to is something like that i don't think that's all of the stamps i'm not sure that's all of them i think that's actually just what's well, upside down for a start joe uh, i think that might just be two and three uh, that have been used there now we're talking about half price deals they're always 12.99 on our website and they are uh, very popular at that price however today you're not only going to get uh, fruit of the vine oh, i'll be enjoying the fruits of the vine let me tell you tonight as well it's friday which means i think we've all earned a glass of wine don't you 
Just one glass. Drink responsibly, don't spill it, that's what I say. Uh, also here, you've got spring display as well. So if you wanna go for this one, again, it's exactly the same concept for you. Uh, layering those stamps up, stamps up to give you something beautiful. And you can be making beautiful cards like this. And I think this really shows uh, quite eloquently how you can just use the stamp on its own, pop a sentiment on there, and that's a really beautiful, clean, clear, crisp, uh, card for you. Now I've got a couple of dies uh, on the craft fault. However, they're so low in stock, I don't actually have the samples uh, for you on the show. I'll give you the details for them and tell you to head on over to uh, the website for them. It's the uh, um, laugh and just because. Uh, so do pop over to the website for them. Uh, over 25% off on those. Now, a double-sided die is something that are always so popular uh, when we bring them to you because it is patented technology to us here at Crafters Companion. And it's like a regular die, and this is a beautiful mandala one. It's like a, be a regular die, but it's double-sided. That means that when you put it through, you put cardstock on the bottom, as you always would, but also cardstock on the top too. And it cuts out. It does double the amount of work for you, basically. So it means that in one pass, you cut all of this lovely stuff using that die and then what you've got is you then just layer them up together and it gives you this beautiful mandala this is a floral mandala now you will need the double-sided uh, plates double-sided die plates from our website but they are available there for you the other one you have as well is sprigs and blossoms which is this one just here now this is great for all of your different foliage uh, that you might need and you can see this is all the lovely stuff that it cuts out you can definitely create flourishes and corners and frames and borders using this as well 24.99 gets you both of those which is fantastic one more for you the wrap dies. I feel like we need to come up with an actual wrap when we sell the wrap dies. You know, like a, you know, we need to spit some bars uh, whilst we sell these wrap dies. Uh, making me think of Leanne's beef ting from yesterday now after all of that. So the, the wrap dies are great. You can extend these and you can uh, uh, elongate them. And what they do is they create like a belly band almost to go around your cards. Uh, loads of um, different options for them. Great for an A6 gatefold card. Wonderful uh, for candles as well. There's loads of different things you can do with them. So you've got in here the uh, ornate cross and you've also got the elegant swans in this collection too. So make sure you grab all of those. Right, that was uh, today's craft fault. Make sure you get them on your basket, you get checked out. It's been such a pleasure uh, to be here with you all this week on Crafters TV. Don't forget, best of coming up tomorrow at 11 a.m. Someday you can do some crafting, but I expect you back here at 11 a.m. on Monday uh, when we begin a brand new week on Crafters TV where we're gonna create every day. Have a great weekend and I'll see you back here next week. Take care.